In this problem, given that f at 5 equals 10, g at 5 equals negative 3, f prime at 5 is 1, and g prime at 5 is 8, we're going to find h prime at 5. In part a, h of x is defined as the product of f and g, and the b, the h of x is defined as the quotient of f and g. In part c, h of x is defined as the product of the quantity fx plus 3x minus 1 and the function gx. So let's get started with part a. In part a, it is in the product form. When we use the product rule, we identify the two different functions. They are function f and function g, and we're going to find the derivative of each of them and multiply uh, one with the other derivative and add them up. So in this case, so h prime is the derivative of the function f times the function g plus the function f times the derivative of the function g. Since we are going to find it at x equals 5, that means the h prime at 5 equals the f prime at 5 multiplied by the g at 5 plus the f at 5 times the g prime at 5. Now we're going to look at the value for each quantity. f prime at 5 given to be 1, the g at 5 given to be negative 3, f at 5 is 10, the g prime at 5 is 8. Therefore, the number can be put it as 1 multiplied by negative 3. That's the front, the first two terms that multiply each other. And then plus 10 times 8 to be negative 3 plus 80. And the number is simplified to um, 77. For part B, we have the quotient form. Identify the top as a high function, the bottom as a low function. I'm gonna put a note here. So for the quotient rule, the formula is low d high minus high d low, draw the line low square. Therefore, we're gonna need to identify the high function, the low function, the d high function, and the d low function. In this case, the high is the function f, the low is the function g, the d high gonna be the derivative of the function f, d low is the derivative of the function g. So we're gonna let's rewrite this. So this is the g prime. And now we're gonna put them into the formula for the h prime of x equals the low, which is the function g, d high is the f prime, minus the high is the function f, the d low is g prime, all divided by the low square, which is the gx quantity square. We're going to find the derivative at x equals 5. That means the derivative of the h is g at 5 times f prime at 5 minus f at 5 times g prime at 5, all divided by g at 5 quantity square. We're going to replace the number um, to the quantity. The g at 5, which is negative 3, the f prime at 5 is 1, the f at 5 is 10, the g prime at 5 is 8, where the g at 5 is negative 3. So the number will be put together as negative 3 multiplied by 1 minus 10 multiplied by 8, or divided by negative 3 quantity squared. Then we have negative 3 minus 80 divided by 9, simplified to be negative 89, 83 over 9.
negative 83 over 9. And then the last case. This is in the form of the product. The first function multiplied by the second function. I'm going to name the first quantity altogether as the function f, the capital F, and then multiply by the, the function g. The product rule is formed by the first function. So I'm going to repeat the first function multiplied by the derivative of the second function and then plus the derivative of the first function times the second function. In this case, the first function is the whole quantity of the f of x plus 3x minus 1, and the g prime, going to be g prime x here, and then plus the derivative. I'm going to put the note on the side just for our reference. Since the f equals the f of x plus 3x minus 1. So the capital F prime is going to be the derivative term by term, which is the lowercase f prime plus 3 minus 0, or just the lowercase f prime plus 3. And then we bring it into the, the main part of the problem. So for the F prime, the capital F prime is the quantity of the lowercase f prime plus 3 and then multiply by the function g. Then we're going to replace x with the 5. This becomes the f at 5. f at 5 plus 3 times 5 minus 1 times g at 5 plus the quantity f prime at 5 plus 3 times g at 5. So we're going to replace the number to the notation. f at 5 is 10. So this is 10. And 3 times 5, that's 15. g prime at 5 is positive 8. f prime at 5 is 1. And then g at 5 is negative 3. And the problem will be simplified to be 10 plus 15 minus 1, which is 24. Multiply by 8. And then plus 1 plus 3, that's 4. Can be 4 multiplied by negative 3. Therefore, we're going to have 192 for the product of 24 and 8 minus 12. Finally, the number is 180.